Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create this purple gold smoky look. So if you want to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Thank you. So firstly, I'm going to take Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance to prime my eyes. You only need a small amount. I'm just going to rub that all over the eye, up to the eyebrow. This will just help the colours to stick on a lot better and make them that little bit brighter. Now I'm going to take a matte white eyeshadow just as um, a way to highlight my brow bone. And it will give the other colour something to blend into. You just need to use an eyeshadow that's a couple of shades lighter than your natural skin tone. The white I'm using is from um, the Sleek Matte Palette. So the next colour we're going to use is from the Urban Decay Vice 2 Palette. Which looks like this. And we're going to be taking Betrayal, which is the sort of purple blue iridescent shade. I'm going to be taking that on a soft fluffy brush and blending that through the crease. Okay, once you feel that that's been blended in quite smoothly into your highlight shade, um, what you want to do then is get the dark purple shade from the palette, which is called Voodoo, and a flat shader brush, and we're going to pat that either side of the eye. So we'll start at the outer corner. This, um, this colour has a lot of fallouts as you tap off your brush. And we're going to just pat that on to the outside corner. All the colours that I'll be using today are either shimmery or do have a lot of fallout so that's why I haven't done my base yet because it would just be quite a bit of a mess to clean up so we'll leave that to the end. Okay, We're going to pat a bit of that onto the inner corner. And then take a tiny amount of it through the crease. So you should be left with some sort of mess like that really. Um, and we're going to blend it out now with a different shade of purple from um, the sleek vintage palette, Vintage Romance. And we're going to be using um, this purple shade at the bottom. So on a soft fluffy brush, take a small amount of that product and just start to blend the edges of that other purple out. So that's the top edge blended out into um, Betrayal, that lighter purple, and then we're just going to blend out the centre into that blank space. Okay, there we go. So I'm next going to take the um, first gold shade across the top this one, and um, just pat that onto the centre. Then I'm going to take um, Steeler's Magnificent Metals in the copper colour and apply that onto the eyelid. Now it's quite a bizarre product to use. It's sort of sticky and spongy, but quite flaky as well. Um, I don't know how to describe it. So on a flat shader brush, we take a small amount of that 
It does come with a liquid to help set it in place, but um, I'm not going to be using that today. Right, I've picked up a small amount onto the brush. I'm just going to pat that on top of the other gold. Okay, so there we go. So next I'm going to um, do some eyeliner on the top lash line and for that I'll be using Kat Von D's Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper. So I'm just going to do a thin line at first because so I'll be going back over the lash band later once we stuck on the false eyelashes. I'm not going to be doing any flicks or anything like that at the end but obviously you can if that's something you prefer. And then I'm going to tight line my eyes with Rimmel Scandal Eyes in black. Next I'm going to just clear up any fallout underneath my eyes and then apply some concealer. The concealer I'll be using is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Brush on Glow, their BB highlighter pen. It's a bit like Touche Le Clat and that sort of thing. Most um, brands have a product similar to this. And then I'll be blending that in with the concealer brush. So now we're going to match the top lash line with the bottom by doing the um, purple at either side of the eye and the gold in the centre. So I'm going to take my um, fluffy brush I used at the top with the dark purple from the Sleek palette and start on the outer corner. And then just to add a bit, bit more definition, I'm going to take an angled brush and just go back over with that same product. Okay, and then we're going to take that pale gold shade that we used as a base on the top eyelid and um, blend that in at the bottom in the centre. Okay, when you think that's matched up, you can then go in and tight line your eyes with a black hole pencil again. Just take that across the waterline to match the top. And then we're going to apply um, a layer of mascara and the false lashes and I'll be right back. Right, so that's the eye makeup complete. Now I'm going to get on to my base. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation in shade 44. I most probably actually shade 42, but when I bought this, that had been discontinued for a while, um, and it's only just really come back. So when I've run out of this, I'll replace it with shade 42. So I'm just going to use a flat um, buffing brush and push that all over the skin, and then start to blend it in. This is a full coverage foundation, so you really don't need much. Um, as it is a little bit darker than my skin, it's important to blend it down your neck so you don't get some harsh line. I'm then going to take MAC Pro Conceal in shade W10 just to go over um, any blemishes that I might have. I 
And then I'm going to set that with my Kryolan loose powder with a big fluffy brush. Okay, now that my base is done, I'm just going to re-go underneath my eyes with um, that iridescent purpley blue shade Betrayal from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, just to help blend that into um, the concealer. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to move on to my brows. And for that, I'm firstly going to be going over them with a brow pencil by Makeup Revolution. And it's the um, Ultra Brow Arch and Shape. So for that, what I do is I start at the um, front of the brow and I just brush the pencil in the same direction as the hair. Then when it moves to the tail of the brow, again you want to keep with the same direction of the hair, so bring the pencil downwards. And then I'm going to fill in the top part of the brow. So for me it's mainly at the um, sort of arch that I'm missing the definition, because my, my brows are so fair. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to brush through that with a disposable spoolie. I like to use the disposable ones because they're generally quite small. I'm good for this sort of thing. And then I'm going to take the Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal and use that to just set my brows. Hey little biggie. so pretty. So that's the makeup look complete. So um, thank you so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.